Hello everyone. Welcome to Peripheral Now Ultrasound Case Diaries. Last time we had a case of foot drop and here is another one. High resolution ultrasound is an excellent cost effective imaging modality for peripheral nerve pathologies particularly traumatic nerve injuries, inflammatory neuropathies, infective neuropathies, neoplastic nerve lesions as well as various compressive neuropathies of peripheral nerves. Commonly scanned peripheral nerves using ultrasound this is a brief list. Coming to today's case, it's a 48 year old thin slender male, non hypertensive and non diabetic, presented with complaints of left foot drop since one month. His history was remarkable in that he had received left gluteal intramuscular injection just prior to developing this foot drop. So, considering the history, it is clear that there is some problem with the sciatic nerve, particularly the common peroneal nerve component. So, I started scanning the sciatic nerve from the gluteal region. And this is the image, axial image of left sciatic nerve taken slightly cranial to the ischiotrochantric interval. We can clearly see there is some reduced ecogenicity with loss of normal polyfascicular pattern involving the lateral portion of the nerve whereas in the medial portion there is very well maintained polyfascicular pattern with hypoechoic fascicles and hypoechoic interfascicular perineurium. To compare with the opposite side just look at this right sciatic nerve how beautifully ultrasound can demonstrate the polyfascicular pattern of sciatic nerve. This is a zoomed image which again delineates there is loss of polyphysicular pattern in the lateral portion with smudging of fascicles there is complete effacement of interfascicular perineurium whereas in the medial portion the polyphysicular pattern is very ma well maintained. This is the longitudinal image along the long axis of left sciatic nerve and we can see there is diffuse reduced ecogenicity involving the lateral fascicle bundles of left sciatic nerve in the gluteal region as it emerges from the greater sciatic notch. So the diagnosis is hydrogenic chemical injury involving the lateral portion of left sciatic nerve which is corresponding to the common peroneal nerve component and that's the reason patient has developed foot drop following intramuscular injection. And this is the reason why intramuscular injections should always be given in the upper outer quadrant of the gluteal region as the sciatic nerve lies in the lower inner quadrant. So this case highlights how beautifully and how precisely high resolution ultrasound can delineate the minute morphological changes as well as the morphological details of peripheral nerve and thereby aids in arriving at accurate diagnosis. Thank you.